Alright, so welcome back to your favorite inorganic tutor YouTube channel. This episode is so interesting and I really like the topic as eigenvalues, even the name makes it so nice. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So interesting. So I want us to dive into this topic and know how we can find the eigenvalues and then the eigenvectors. Right? You know, eigenvectors and eigenvalues they are topics that we do use them in linear transformation and matrices right and um those in the engineering phases um um when it comes to mathematics as well we we do use it very very well but there are some things that you have to note about this eigenvectors and the eigenvalues right so what we have to note is that we have some characteristic equation that we have to use, right? And the characteristic equation is given by determinant of the matrix minus lambda times the identity matrix should be equal to zero. What we mean right here is that when you subtract lambda times the identity matrix when you subtract this right here from this it should give you the determinant should give you zero right and the um determinant this right here should have the same size as the matrix right so the identity matrix that you are going to form should have the same size as the matrix given so this is a two by two matrix. This is a two by two matrix. So what we do here is to form a two by two identity matrix, then multiply it by um, the eigenvalues, which is the lambda. It's just a scalar. Um, it's either strength, it decreases or it expands. When you have something like this here and the eigen value happens to be 2, it will shrink it or it will just compress it, right? So what we have here is that if the eigen value um, is greater than 1, then it's going to stretch it, right? If the eigen value, which is the um, lambda, is greater than 1, it's going to stretch it right and if it is less than one then it's going to compress it and also when it reverses its direction then it means the eigen value is less than zero so this is what i mean if you have the lambda to be greater than um one then it's going to stretch the matrix right and then if you have it between zero and one between zero and one then it's going to compress the matrix that you are having right and the final aspect is that when it is um less than zero then it is going to reverse the direction of the matrix or whatever you are having is going to reverse its direction right so that is if less lambda is less than one is going to reverse its direction so now let's look at how we can less solve this um less than zero all right less than zero so let's look at how we can solve this two by two matrix to determine the eigenvalues and then eigen vectors right so this right here what we have to do first is that you have to look for an identity matrix that have the same size as the matrix given, right? So the identity matrix here is going to be this. 1, 0, 0, 1, right? And then you multiply this identity matrix by um, an eigen value, which is lambda, right? So the eigen value is just a scalar, right? So we have lambda times the identity matrix right here 
and that is equal to lambda zero zero lambda right so the characteristic equation says that we should subtract this right here from the matrix and the determinant of the result should be equal to zero then we solve it is we are going to actually form a quadratic equation when you have um, a two by two matrix you form a quadratic equation but when you have a three by three matrix you have a polynomial equation right so what we do here is a which is the matrix minus lambda i right so we have right here as four one two three minus lambda zero zero lambda right so we subtract we always we know that uh subtraction of matrix we all will be doing with the uh, component wise we subtract it component wise so this minus this this minus this this minus this and this minus that right so we have right here a minus lambda i should be equal to this minus this lambda so we have four minus lambda right and one minus zero is as usual one then this minus zero is two this minus lambda three lambda three minus lambda right so this when you find the determinant of this you should get zero right so right here the determinant the depth of this four minus lambda and then one three minus lambda should be equal to zero Right, so let's find the determinant of this two by two matrix. Right, so we have four, four minus lambda, and then you know this by this, which is three minus lambda minus two by one, two here. And that should be equal to zero right so we multiply this and we have 12 we multiply this and we have minus 4 lambda this by this minus 3 lambda this by this plus lambda squared minus 2 should be equal to zero right so we simplify this and you have lambda squared minus 7 lambda plus 10 should be equal to zero right so we look for the two numbers that can fit the minus seven lambda and that is equal to minus two lambda minus five lambda plus then should be equal to zero right so the factorization is going to be lambda minus two and then lambda minus five that should give us zero so the first lambda is going to be lambda minus 2 equals 0, lambda 1 equals 2. And also, lambda minus 5 should be 0, lambda 2, right? Should be equal to 5. So these are the eigenvalues. These are the eigenvalues of these two, for this 2 by 2 matrix. So lambda 1, 2, lambda 2, 5. Now let's go ahead and find the eigen vectors, right? So we take each eigen value to find the eigen vector for the eigen value, right? So for lambda one, which is equal to two, we substitute it into the um, characteristic equation, which is this minus lambda i, equals zero right but we, we have already simplified this which is right here right here so we substitute this lambda into this then we simplify then we equate it to zero but as usual we know that if you want to find variables for a certain matrix you multiply it by the variables of the matrix right so we have 4 minus 2, which is 2, 
and then we have one here, two here, and then three minus one, three minus two, that is one. And this should be multiplied by certain variables that of which you are going to look for them, right? So you can use S1, S2, or because we are talking about eigenvectors, you can decide to use V1, V2, right? So you have V1, V2, right? And this should be equal to zero. But because we are dealing with matrices, we use zero matrix, right? So we have, that is the colon matrix, right? So that's what you have right here. So in this case, when you, we are looking for V1, we can see clearly from here that this equation or this matrix have the same element on all the um, rows. This row is the same as this row, right? So what we do is that we pick one row to work with, right? So when we pick one row, that means that we are going to have 2v1 plus 2v1 plus v2. That should be equal to 0. The same thing applies to this. So we, need, we don't need to pick all. We pick one, then work, work on it. So you pick one value, use one value, uh, one variable to predict the other. So we say that v2 is equal to negative v1 negative 2 v1 right so for instance this means that if v2 is equal to minus 2 if v2 is equal to minus 2 then v1 will happen to be positive 1 right that is the assumption if you don't use this method you not get it and before you be able to proceed to this part, you have to make sure that the elements in the matrix have the same coefficient. If it is not true, you have to go back to the work and redo it, right? So we can say that the first eigenvector for the eigenvalue 2 is 1 and negative 2, right here. So we go and pick eigenvalue 5 and then we work for it as well. So let's come up here. Come up here. So for lambda 2, which is equal to 5, when you put that one inside here, then we have 4 minus 5. And that is negative 1. The remainder 1, 2, and then 3 minus 5. That is negative 2. Here also, you multiply by variables, right? So either choose x1, x2, or bar. Because we are dealing with eigenvectors, we say v1, v2, right? This should be equal to a zero matrix. That is this column matrix right here. So we can see clearly that this equation is the same as this. Because when you multiply this by negative 2, you are going to result to this same rule, right? So we have here minus v1 plus v2, right? Should be equal to 0. So the assumption is that if minus v1 should be equal to minus 2, minus v2. So we have v1 equals v2. So this means that if v1 happens to be 1, v2 2 will be 1 as well, right? So we have here v1 equals 1, and then v2 is also 1. Very, very simple. So we write our eigenvector to be 1 and 1. Very, very simple. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we follow, uh, this is the procedure we follow to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of a 2x2 two two matrix. Please don't forget to subscribe because the next is going to be how we can find the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues of a 3x3 three three matrix. Bye.